Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. One of the most beloved stories of all time, Anastasia, has come to Broadway as a brand new musical by Lynn Ahrens, Stephen Flaherty, and Terrence McNally. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company. Very dapper, sir. Thank you Wel very much. Welcome back to Broadway. How does it feel? It feels great. You know, it's. Uh, I, I was telling Mandy, my wife, that it's been the best. I don't want to say easiest job, but it's just it's run so well. There's been no dramas. Yeah. It's run smoothly. It's just it is truly a family, and it's just a lot of fun to show up and just just do our thing. You know, it's run really well. I'm, I'm I've, I've never been so comfortable, happy, and excited for each each show. What's it like living in the world of Anastasia? I mean, it's Lynn Aaron, Stephen Flaherty, Terrence McNally. Well, it's the best of the best, you know? It's like the all-star of Broadway, and uh, how can you not be a better person, actor, uh, musician after this experience, you know? And, and to be part of the Anastasia, as you say, it's also like I'm learning every day how important and... Uh, as I know there's fans of the film and the cartoon, but there's also fans of the, the history. And uh, that's worldwide, and I'm blown away how massive this appeal is. And uh, I just hope that the, the version we're telling and the story we're telling, people leave with that sort of you know home, love, family, those uh, uh, the three main themes. What did you enjoy the most about working on this? You know, um, I would call it the science of musical theater when on a from a workshop to a workshop you analyze something and make it better and better and that doesn't sound really sexy but it's a very satisfying thing crafting it and then um, I have to say when I see Christy up there it's as close as I'll ever feel to being a father I'm not a dad but when I see her up there I just feel so proud so yeah because you've assembled this incredible company of actors yeah. they're beautiful hard-working kind and they all work so well together you know they're really it's it's uh, it was just a pleasure every step of the way so what have you enjoyed the most about working on this show oh. I think working with Darko he, he is a, a master at seeing the big picture and the small picture at the same time and he knows how to let an actor explore and find things and he knows how to give notes not too soon. I think he's one of the finest directors and you've worked with some of the best. I have. Yeah. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. So when yeah. you took your bow tonight back on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking tonight? I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> and this company. The company. I know there is not a weak link in the company. Every one of them is brilliant and beautiful. You know, just Mary Beth Peel, Caroline O'Connor, John Bolton, Derek Klenna, uh, Ramin Karamloo, and of course Christy Altamar, who is just born to play the role. You know, we're, we're just as lucky as can be. Okay, so when you took your bow tonight back on Broadway with this incredible company, do you remember what you were thinking? I was thinking, I don't know how to bow. <laughs> and I didn't know if I should curtsy or bow. Who knows? I, you get, you, you're get you like a deer in the headlight up there, you know. I asked Darko the same thing, and he's a director. He's like, am I going to fall over? I know, that's it. Or are my shoes going to break? It's or all something? technical. I know, I stepped in a track with my high heel. It's You're just in a panic, you know. <laughs> just curtsied and bowed at the same time. Curtsied and bowed and stepped in a track and almost broke my ankle, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it like living in the world of Anastasia? It's pretty fabulous because it's so, the, the show is so beautiful and it's so wonderfully received. I mean, seriously, night after night after night, uh, we're all so delighted. The company is just, we're beside ourselves with the, with the response to the show. Um, it's such a relief after all that hard work and the work that the creatives particularly have put into bringing this to the stage. And I'm working probably with like the, the most beautiful company I could ever wish for. 
So when you took your bow tonight, back on Broadway, do you remember what you were thinking? Tonight? Actually, I did have a look up at my husband. God bless him, he has to sacrifice so much for me traveling all over the world to do this. But um, I looked up in the balcony and I thought, darling, I hope you understand <laughs> why I keep dragging you around the world. How do you feel tonight? I, I feel like I'm on a cloud. It's, it was a magical performance and uh, it, it was thrilling. It's thrilling. What has this been like working for you? Because first you worked on that beautiful animated film, yeah. and now it's a Broadway musical. Well, it was funny, when we froze the show, which was earlier this week, uh, people were saying, are you ready to freeze it? And, I, and I've been working on this story and these characters for more than 20 years, so I am really ready, yeah. And, I don't, and I'm, I'm, I'm really ready for our opening night. It, it feels great. What have you enjoyed the most with a collaboration of Terrence McNally, who's been added to the piece. Well, it's in inter it's interesting because Lynn and I know the character so well, and he came with a really fresh uh, set of eyes and ears, and we all wanted to do something original and and new with the story. So it was great to have you know somebody from a different uh, with a different perspective joining us, and you know we're all chums. So this is our third show together. So it, it was great. What a glorious cast you have in this too. What's it like creating for a cast? Well, this case. These wonderful people showed up at auditions. I mean, I, we didn't write this for anybody, but the ideal people came along the old-fashioned way. They auditioned and got the parts. And it's kind of thrilling. And what have you enjoyed the most about working on this? I'm working with Lynn and Steve, and the writing, I think, is the most exciting part. And hoping you have something people are going to want to produce and audiences are going to want to see. The fans of the Anastasia story in the film. Oh, the Fanastasias, we love them. You know, these are young people that grew up with this beautiful cartoon who went on to do reports on the real Anastasia and uh, throughout high school and college, uh, many of them have told us. But um, I think they appreciate that Terrence has worked in more of the actual history uh, into uh, into the script. I also was a fan of the story. It's a tragic story, of course. My parents had the book, Nicholas and Alexander, a real thick book with a pictures in the middle. And I looked at the book, and I was like, at very young, and I was like, look, there's kids in this story. And they're all dressed the same and like stepladder. It was like the Von Trapps, only they all get shot. Thank you. And they're Russian. What a beautiful role they've given you. Yeah. I have so much new material, too, that wasn't in the movie. Um, with you know, because Mitri didn't get to sing a lot in the film, so a lot of the songs and a lot of his material is, are, are new, and I, it's been an amazing challenge and opportunity to get to craft that and make it my own. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. So what's it like when Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Aarons come in and say, oh, here's a song we wrote for you? Um, intimidating at first, because they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want to screw this up because they're geniuses, and you know, they're right, they're always right. Um, but you know, they're so encouraging and so supportive of us and really give us the space to make it our own and to, and to live in it for a little bit. And I just can't say enough about them and I thank them every day for this amazing opportunity and it's incredible. Working with this incredible company, your leading lady. Oh, Christy, I love her. And we got to work together five years ago on Carrie. So it's kind of, it, it, the, the fact we've come, we've come full circle and we got to audition together. Um, it was just, it was kind of a magical moment, and, and it, the creative said it just clicked, and we felt that in the room, and, and luckily it's been translating. She's great. She's Isn't just that great when you get to work in another musical, and all of a sudden you audition together, and you're like, we're cast together. Yeah, when does that ever happen, that you have that kind of comfort with somebody, and you get to share this, this type of a show with someone? She's, she's fantastic, and she's amazing in the show. To have a musical written for you by Lynn Ahrens, Stephen Flaherty, Terrence McNally. It's surreal. I grew up with the musical Ragtime. Derek and I yep. love Ragtime so much and I've talked about it multiple times. So it's a very surreal experience for us getting to talk to them, work with them, and to have them be influenced by the things that we're doing in rehearsals. It was surreal. Because I asked Derek, I'm like, what's it like when, oh my God, they write a song for you and they're like, here you are. And you're like, oh my God, they created a song for me and my character. Well, it's unbelievable. Actually, towards the very end, they changed a bunch of lines in Crossing a Bridge. And they're beautiful. I just started crying and, and it was just me and them in a room, just the three of us. And it, there's moments like that I will cherish for the rest of my life. What do you remember like tonight, stepping on stage for the first time opening night? Is it surreal? Do you remember it? I I just re I don't remember it. It was like I blacked out, and I just remember thinking before I went in that I'm just going to have fun and just try to transform myself and just embody this character. And and that's and that's all you can do is 
when you feel that sense of freedom, that's when you know you're there. Okay, so when you took your bow tonight, back on Broadway, in this glorious show, do you remember what you were thinking? I just, I, I wasn't thinking, I was feeling love. Just love from everyone and so gratitude for where I am and the journey I've taken personally to get here tonight. Let this be.